What is the president actually allowed and not allowed to say or do under our constitution? And has he technically done anything wrong here? Well, the constitution is a little bit vague on this, so it doesn't really go into much detail on what he is or is not allowed to say. Um, it does specify that if he wants to make an address to the nation, that he's required to seek the approval uh, of government. But obviously, this couldn't be constituted um, an address to the nation. Um, but if you look at the way the relationship between the government and the president is set up, um, it is quite clear that the presidency is not intended to come into conflict with government. Um, and that's why you have things like the, the fact that the president has to seek approval before making an address. The president even has to seek approval before he leaves the state. Um, so that is the kind of relationship that is set up under the constitution. And saying that, there are two main roles that the president has under the constitution. There's the role of the head of state, which is mainly ceremonial role, and there's the role of guardian of the constitution. And under that role, he exercises some very important constitutional duties. Now, you could argue that since Mary Robinson's presidency, there has been an addition role, which is acting sort of as a mouthpiece for the people or a voice for the people. And subsequent presidents have um, used that sort of new role, which has been developing. I think President Higgins probably has used it more than um, the, the, the two presidents that came before him. And I think this is fine when it, it, it stays on issues of sort of higher level principles. Uh, but where it becomes dangerous is where it comes into issues of policy. And that is because of the fact that the president does exercise those important constitutional roles, such as, for example, uh, a decision on whether to refer a bill to the Supreme Court before it's signed for a decision on its constitutionality. Or in the case of a Taoiseach who may have lost his majority in the Dáil, the president can refuse um, a dissolution in those circumstances. So it's really important that the president is seen as being politically neutral and above the political fray, as they say. And if there's any sort of a suspicion that the president you know, might come down on the side of one party or one policy or the other, it sort of erodes this idea of the president as an important neutral figure. So can the government do anything to rein in a vocal president if they don't really like what he's saying? Uh, can President Higgins, in this case, be banned from saying it? No, not really. I mean, I'm sure there will be conversations held behind closed doors. Um, it's part of the function of, of the Taoiseach to keep the president informed on matters. So I'm sure they will be having conversations and potentially this will come up. But you, you can only remove a president in Ireland for state of misbehaviour and that requires an impeachment procedure. And I don't think anybody would like to go down the road of looking at starting impeachment proceedings. And certainly these sorts of um, activities do not go far enough to, to require that. That sort of action.